Hi folks, Martin here, and once again, we're playing City Skylines. Today, I'm going to show you how to add advanced greens to your signalized intersections. So the first thing we need to do is to make the left lanes dedicated lefts. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the change lane arrows in the Traffic Manager Presidents Edition. The Traffic Manager Presidents Edition is right up here, the icon at the top. And we're going to use the change lane arrows, change lane arrows. There, I spit it out. And we're just going to do these two opposing directions uh, for purposes of the example. So we click on that lane and we make the left lane dedicated. We click on that direction. And again, we make the left lane dedicated. So now step number one is complete. We have two opposing left turn lanes and their sole purpose is for left turns. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the traffic manager presence additions to change the signal timing. Well, we're going to go over to the TMPE and we'll click on this icon here and we select a node and we're going to set up a tra timed traffic signal and we're going to add a step. So if you look very closely, you'll see something very interesting here. It's a little tab and it's change mode. And this is really the key to how you create uh, your dedicated advanced green phase. So if you click on that, you'll see that it can either just control all three lanes at one time, do it this way, or it can actually have a signal or control each lane individually. And that's how we're going to do it today. So I'm just going to put in some random time here, like 10 to 15, not 151, 15. And it's going to be a green signal for the left and red for the others. And for the opposing, again, it'll be a green signal. The next thing we do is we add another step. And in this second phase, the uh, now it's red, get it to go red. Sorry, have to add a step. I forgot to do that. So now I'm adding a step and the left turn signal goes red and the straight through and right turn goes green. Same for the opposing, the left goes red and the straight through and the right turn goes green. And I'll leave it at 10 to 15. It's a little large, but we'll add it on. And that's the, the phases for the east to west direction. So then we'll add another step. And that's where it goes red for this direction, the east west direction. And we're going to go green. And for this one, I'm just going to go a single, I'm going to use the change mode just to go to a single green because I just wanted to show you how to do it. And you, you've seen the general idea. So we now have to go back here and what did I do? So I've got the minimum time at 10 and uh, 15. So I add that. So that's quite long for an intersection, but it'll give you an opportunity to see it. So now I'm going to start. Oh, I guess I got to hit play. So it'll take a few seconds for the intersection to clear. But uh, when it does, and I'm leaving these signals up so you can see what the timing is. And uh, hopefully what you'll be able to see is that uh, the intersection will work quite well. That the dedicated lefts uh, have no trouble getting through. Um, and you can see it now go yellow and red and, uh, now it's going green. So now it's just going straight through and they're not, uh, the left is not, uh, active at the moment and that should help your intersection operate at a much better, uh, capacity and a much better level. So that's how you add dedicated advanced green phase to your signalized intersections. If you have any comments, let me know. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. 
and please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.